What about Kevin Costner's? Dude, I the, that, the that I did cry. I I am um, because we, my friend Michael Rooker's in that. Right? Yeah, I love Michael because yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. kind of filming that for a while. Yeah, how long did you film that? What's it called? Is it called? It's called Horizon. Horizon. Horizon and American Saga, and it's part one and part two. And Ju- it's coming out this summer, June and August. Yeah, it sounds amazing. It's like old school filmmaking. I um th- so Kevin's been working on that project since the eighties, I think, at this point. And it started off as one movie, and over the years has grown and grown. And um, he finally got the opportunity to make it. And um, I found myself out in the wilds of Utah. My story takes place within the wagon train portion. It's it's really this like sprawling tale of the American West in the 1800s. And um, yeah, I'm on the wagon train. So I'm just standing there in my costume with all the wagons and the horses. And and, and I, I got emotional because it's just like everything that you think a movie is when you're a kid and you want to be in the movies and you're just standing there. And I, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, wow I'm, I'm here, you know? And I'm like, That's it's beautiful. very ensemble. It's very ensemble. Like I'm one of the actors in it, um, amongst many others. Um, and I think I worked, a to- I think I worked a total of two weeks, maybe. Oh no, I think a, a week, like a week straight. Cause they shot, you know, set in sections for different storylines. I think I shot a week straight for the first one. And, uh, and then that was it. You know, you go, you have this experience. How was Kevin? Amazing. I, you know, he's very subtle. I remember I auditioned for the postman mm-hmm. and I went to his hotel room. This is eons ago. Mm-hmm. And he goes, yeah, just sit on the floor with me. Sit on the floor. You know, All right, let's, mm-hmm. you know, let's just hang out and, and we're going to read the scene a couple of times and we'll just talk. And you know, yeah. I was there for like a half an hour, 40 minutes. He's like, all right, man, how'd you do? How'd you like that? It was great. Thanks, Kevin. He's like, Hey, nice to meet you, man. I didn't get it, but yeah. it was really a great, it was a great yeah. time. He was no, a great guy. Amazing. I, you know? when, um, when I got the role, um, I think my manager just kind of pitched me for it basically. Um, and the casting director liked me and then it was like, okay, so Kevin wants to meet you. And I was at my family home, uh, in Bath where I come from. And, uh, I went up to the top of the house to my dad's office to zoom with the casting director and Kevin and, you know, turn on the turn on the screen casting director's like okay um and here's kevin and we're just gonna leave you guys to it i was like okay and then we had a chat and i but how are you yeah and i'm used to like pitching myself you know like i love the script and like this and this and this and this and through our conversation halfway through i realized shut the fuck up (laughs) yeah shut up because he's trying to sell it to you he was like telling me about the film and like, it's going to be this and it's going to be that. And I would, and he finished like, and I would love you to join us. And inside I'm going, what? <laughs> like you're offering me. That's okay. so and I, cool. And I was like, oh my God, I would love to Kevin. That would be amazing. And I, and we, then we stopped the call and I went down. My wife Damn. is giving my son a bath. And I was like, Kevin Gosling just offered me a job. It was like the most surreal experience. And then a few months later, we're on set in Utah and he's directing. And I was just... A wild experience. And, and everyone was so happy to be there because it's such a passion project for him. And and it, you could just feel that uh, a lot of time and effort had gone into all, all parts of it. Everyone was so happy to be there and excited to help Kevin achieve his vision. How old is vision. he now? 70? I don't know. I'm not going to guess. Uh, I think he's still in his 60s. I don't know. No. If you'd have to check. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, I'm not going to hazard a guess. Maybe, maybe 70. I don't know. He's, he's just one of the all time great. I'm going to say 72. I mean, he's that's 69, 69. There you go. He just turned 69. So I didn't, um, yeah. He's also like from my childhood. He has seven really. children. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine having two children? Uh, so Stellan, who I also work with, I think has eight or nine. What? It, because Why? in Sweden, it's easier because in Sweden, the government helps you a lot more than they help you here. Like you get like, Honestly, like with my wife and I, like having more kids, we have considered like, where can we be? Where can we be? Because America doesn't help you at all. (laughs) And they just like charge you through the ass to have kids every step of the way.